Hello, welcome to this Bitrix24 tutorial from Nevpro Business Solutions. We are gold partners of Bitrix24 and have expertise on the on-premise as well as the cloud edition of the software. In this tutorial, we will see how to install the Bitrix24 self-hosted edition server on a CentOS 7. For this, we will start with installing Bitrix Virtual Appliance or the BVA on your CentOS server. So what is BVA? BVA is a free-of-charge application that allows optimal operation of the on-premise version in a pre-configured and fully secure virtual environment. BVA saves your time and your efforts by ensuring a proper deployment and administration of your Bitrix24 copy on a server of your choice. Both Windows and Unix versions are available. This environment comes with the below pre-configured packages. 1. MySQL Server, for managing database 2. Web Server, Apache is a web server that processes the request and serves web assets and content via HTTP. 3. Nginx, Nginx is open source software for web serving, reverse proxying, caching, load balancing, media streaming, and more. 4. Memcached, free and open source, high performance, distributed memory object caching system, generic in nature, but intended for use in speeding up dynamic web applications by alleviating database load. 5. XPDF, XPDF is a free PDF viewer and toolkit, including a text extractor, image converter, HTML converter, and more. Most of the tools are available as open source. 6. Moonan. Moonan is a networked resource monitoring tool that can help analyze resource trends and what just happened to kill our performance problems. 7. Nagios. Nagios is an open source monitoring system for computer systems. Nagios software runs periodic checks on critical parameters of application, network and server resources. For example, Nagios can monitor memory usage, disk usage, microprocessor load, the number of currently running processes and log files. 8. Sphinx, the package adds to 1C Bitrix the ability to work with Sphinx indexes, through ORMD7, as with familiar entities, for example, Bitrix, iBlock, Element Table or, Bitrix, Catalog, Price Table. So what was the main requirement for installing Bitrix24? 1. CentOS 7, minimal version 2, we required root access to our CentOS server. Then, it is necessary to disable SCLinux for the file configuration to take place. I am now going to access my server by using root credentials within PuTTY for accessing the terminal of my server. Here is my terminal. As I currently don't have a Bitrix24 environment I will install the BVA using the install script from the Bitrix24 official website. So we have to type Bitrix24 self-hosted installation script. Here is how it looks like all step-by-step -step methods. For the environment script, we have to mention OS type as well that's CentOS 7. So now I have to copy this URL for installing the script on my server. We will use wget to pull this installation script from the Bitrix24 official site into our server. wget is a non-interactive network file downloader.
Since I don't have wget so I install wget by using yum command. After downloading this script we will change the permissions of this file to execute permission. Now we will run the script. The script by itself will disable SC Linux and ask for a reboot. Once we have rebooted our server, we will reconnect to our server again and rerun the script to continue execution. The installation will take a while and this script downloads all the packages needed for Bitrix24 software. Here after my server is rebooted, I will again access my server and run the installation script. Since before I disabled the SE Linux. So now it will download all repos and all default module. This will again take a while and this will load whole BBA in server. We successfully installed all Remy repo. This repo will contain all PHP packages, MySQL packages and all the monitoring packages etc. Now it's going to download those packages and install them. Once the script execution is completed, you would be prompted to set a new Bitrix user password. This is for accessing the file from the back end. After that, we will proceed to configure the management pool. This pool is to manage all the packages pertaining to important settings of the server. That's it, we have now successfully installed all the packages from the back end. Here all menu will come this will help us to give full access to our server by using curlident.me we can find out the public IP of the server. I have to access this IP from the browser from the front end. I have to download all the web packages all the web modules. This also takes a while. Here we can also restore any previous backup. Now I have to click on install button and then it will show you progress. Here we have two options to choose either business if you have commercial key or demo.
Currently I have demo so I am going to select demo and then after that I will click the installation tab. Now again it will take a while to install all web-based GUI packages. This is demo account since we don't have any commercial key. Here we have accept terms and condition. And then we have to provide initial details of admin user. After that it will prompt you the initial account setup. Here we have to provide all admin details for administrator account. Now I have to set up an initial account from my Bitrix24 server for accessing the web console from the browser. Here I have to give all necessary details like admin user and password etc. We have to follow all the instructions step by step here our database will be created with all the solution specific tables. After keying in my initial account, I have to provide my company name. Then open the communication checkbox and see the options to check. We do not want any unauthorized access so I am not selecting that option. Now we need to select the portal settings for the Bitrix24 version. If we want to have a demo run, we need to select the demo version so that all dummy data for lead and deal, template profile etc. would be loaded by the system. If you want to install the enterprise version without demo data, put your license key after selecting the option. For this video, I have selected the demo version. Now we are all set to use our newly installed Bitrix24. We have to click here to launch Bitrix24. Thank you. I hope you like this video. Do leave your feedback in the comments section below. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and click the bell icon to be updated with the latest news from NevPro Business Solutions.